We are thrilled to introduce Shin Sakane, co-CEO of GFIT Inc., a man who knows a thing or two about bouncing back. Shin Stock, bankrupt with $100 million, how to reimagine success after catastrophic failure, will leave you inspired and ready to tackle any challenge. But before we dive into his insights, let's get to know Shin a bit better. He holds a PhD with highest honors in physical chemistry and biochemistry from the University of Delaware. As founder of Seven Dreamers Laboratories, Shin raised over 100 million US dollars for his deep tech AI robotics startup. After facing bankruptcy in 2019, Shin bounced back as a serial entrepreneur. And a glimpse into GFIT Inc., what started with two founders has now grown into a team of 30 incredible members. The company introduced AI-based FX risk control tools that are revolutionizing international trading companies. With over 500 million Japanese yen in funding, Shin has earned the trust and backing of investors from Seven Dreamers and beyond. Tune in as Shin Sakane shares his inspiring journey. Do you know these three Japanese guys? They are the ones that I respect the most. When I was a graduate student in the United States, my dream was to become a professor and a top scientist in the physical chemistry field. One day, I drove down to New York City and went to a book, Japanese bookstore called Kinokuniya and found books about these three business leaders. And that changed my life. I was so impressed by a founder of Panasonic, Mr. Matsushita's life and management philosophy, and a founder of Sony, Mr. Morita's global mind, and Mr. Honda's engineer spirit. But I was, at the same time, I realized at that time there was no new Japanese company which was as aggressive or as outstanding, in giving outstanding impact as these three companies. So I decided one day in the future, I want to build my own company to create real innovations from Japan. So what are real innovations? How to find a theme for innovations? I didn't know what to do. But the only thing I was able to do was to ask people around for their demands. What kind of tools do you want? What, makes, what would make your life easier? And I kept asking, and so many people told me so many different ideas. And I was like, OK, it's a good idea. And I went and then did intensive search for each theme on the internet and patent database. And I found that more than 99% of the time, the idea was already taken. Either someone has already commercialized, or someone has already patented in other countries. And I kept doing this for a few years, and I couldn't find it. And one day, I went home, and I asked my wife, do you have anything in your mind that you really, really want to have? And anything that um, no one has ever uh, developed? And something seems so difficult to develop technologically. And then she immediately answered, oh, I want to have laundry folding machine. Because at that time, we have two little kids and she was so busy at home, and that was the one she really, really wanted. I was like, okay, it's a good idea. And then next day, I did intensive pattern search and everything, and I found no one at the time has done anything like this. So I'm like, yes! Finally, finally, I found a theme to create great innovation from Japan. So, even a five-year-old kid 
can fold this t-shirt easily. But even the highest robotics technology, it is so hard to deal with this kind of soft material. So back in 2005, we started from scratch. And it required a lot of crazy ideas and tremendous efforts with high-level AI and robotics technologies. And it took us 15 years to develop the world's first laundry folding robot called Landroid. And I established the company called Seven Dreamers Labs, and we raised over $100 million, and we had a partnership with Panasonic and Dio House, one of the largest uh, home appliance and home building companies in Japan. And we successfully demonstrated mass production Landroid prototype at CES in 2018. During our journey, I earned a lot of honors, including Japan Venture Innovation Award, presented by Prime Minister Abe, who I respect a lot. Unfortunately, he got killed after five years of this award ceremony. But anyways, that was the greatest moment of my life. However, there are so many hard things we had to face. And eventually, we couldn't raise 30 million additional dollars to bring Landroid into mass production and market. April 23rd, in 2019, we did everything we could possibly do, but we had to file bankruptcy in Japan. I visited all the Seven Dreamers investors to apologize, and one third of the investors gave me very, very tough comments, as you can imagine. But two thirds of the investors never blamed anything. And they even told me that, Shin, you did the right thing. And you must promise us that you will challenge again. And challenge shouldn't be a small one. It has to be a big, big challenge like you've done. So very, very important things that I learned is that it is so important to face investors honestly and faithfully. And second thing that I learned is how to motivate myself again. How to reimagine such a bad, bad failure and success after such a success after such a bad failure. So after going through these hard things, my mental health and body was strongly damaged. So half part of myself was telling me, Shin, you have to step forward. But the other half of myself never reacted to anything. But I believed in myself that I could recover again. And the first thing I did was exercising and running. Because I thought, in order to recover my mental health, I had to be physically healthy. And it was true, and it worked. And the second, th second thing I did was to explore new trends in different fields and technology in each field. Knowing what's going on in the world helped me motivating myself step by step. And I kept doing this in my small apartment by myself. And after one year, I was 70% back in condition. And at that time, I was sure that I was ready to go to the next challenge. So very first step for the new challenge is the same thing, that we have to find a good theme for innovation. This time, I try to, I try to um, the new, new field, B2B business. And then the fi eventually, the 
theme that we found is a tool to control forex risk for companies who internationally trade. As you know, like Japanese yen and dollar fluctuate a lot, and a lot of companies suffer from forex risk. So we decided to create a team to develop a tool for forex risk management with high-level AI technology. So our company is called GFIT Inc. And now I'm very, very happy to work with such great team members. So what I want to emphasize here today is that even if you fail miserably, if you face your former investors and stakeholders honestly and faithfully, and if you believe in yourself, you can stand up again. You can have investors and great team members who will support you. You always have ways to reimagine your success and challenge again. Thank you very much.